have you been in a situation where you want to achieve so many things but you're not able to achieve any of them you just average out everywhere this is something happens to most of us yesterday a student called me and then he said that he's confused about a few things and uh, he wants some suggestions i said okay so he said that he just passed out of uh, college he has done btech and he got a job in it and he has got a placement in a very good company so he said that i don't want to get into it okay okay and then uh, i want to do a business and uh, but before that i want to have uh, mba but right now i don't have a job and i don't want to get into uh, it sector but for mba i need two years experience so i think i should do mim program and i've also applied for this uh, ylp program of uh, isb so he said that i want to do all of this so i said have you been able to you know uh, achieve any of these things and he has been preparing for gmat for some time and last year he gave cat also where he just scored around 90 percentile in cat you need to need at least 99 percentile so when i was listening to him if you could see that he knows what all he wants to do but the problem is that he's not going one thing at a time so i asked him that uh, when is because uh, he's in the final year of his uh, graduation so i asked him uh, when he's getting uh, when you know, he's joining the company so he said around september and uh, then i said that uh, because he has applied for the ylp program which is a young leaders program of isb so he said uh, i have applied and they just want a gmat score so i said okay so uh, uh, when is the deadline he said that in august i have to give uh, you know submit the gmat score so i asked him why don't he just you know just make a sequence of things like for example wherever he wants to go right now he's in a very secure position he was saying that you know he's a bit tensed he's confused i said there is no nothing to be confused about first he's in the safe zone safe zone in the sense he already has a placement that means if everything goes wrong still he has a job with a very good company though he has to work in it which is also fine it's not because he has studied it but now he doesn't want to pursue it but it's not something he cannot do so given a, you know if he doesn't have any option he can that means he's in the safe zone so i asked him what if he just start with his gmat and for next 3 months because he's completely free for next 3 months and parallel to that he said that he has started the application process for mim programs i said without even gmat you have started the pro- application process he has paid some consultant already for five colleges i said on what basis so now if you just if you can see that he knows what all he wants but only thing required is that you know take one thing at a time so i asked him what if we just start with uh, gmat and for next three months we just focus on gmat and, and try to get 720 plus on gmat but uh, but i lose time on you know i need to find the job because he doesn't want to you know work in it sector and if mim doesn't work out and he doesn't go for isb what if he doesn't have a job because his parents wants him to do the job so along with that he has to look for a new job so i said that if you just focus on so many things you will fail miserably in all the things and the same thing happens with most of the students and even you know student who are just studying for gmat what happens is they you know try to do all the things together they are doing quant parallel to that they are doing verbal and parallel to that they are you know uh, working on their applications without even knowing that whether they will get the score or not so if you are you know if you are totally confused anywhere and you are not able to you know move forward the first thing is that consider your worst case first worst case in the sense if you you know don't go for gmat you don't do anything what will happen because most of the students are working you know who prepare for gmat if you are already working and if gmat doesn't work out still you nothing is going to happen to you things will be fine so if you just start with with this mindset that okay everything goes bad still things are good because nothing bad is going to happen <clears throat> you're just you know not going for mba but you're already working with the top company you have a good profile you have a good salary everything is working for you so once you start with this that means that you become you know come at peace with yourself and from there you take one thing at a time for example i uh, you can just start with gmat and in gmat also 
start with one section for example you are starting with verbal in verbal take one section for example you can take reading comprehension focus deep into reading comprehension go all out make sure you master reading comprehension it may take you know 15 20 30 days but master it because when you master reading comprehension you, know, you will uh, understand the loopholes what are the things you know you falter on so you understand the system so once you know how to master rc maybe you take 30 days but if you just apply the same systems to critical reasoning because now you know how to master a section so if you apply same to the critical reasoning you will take less time because now you know exactly how to master a section rather than doing all the sections and if you start failing everywhere probably you know once you fail in so many areas it becomes really difficult you know turn up every day and focus because it is hitting your self image and even if you are getting you know uh, you are hitting a uh, failing in every section your self image is really low and at that time you will not be you know motivated enough to take actions so if you are confused just take your worst case and mostly worst case is pretty good okay and then start with one thing at a time and over a period of time you will be able to achieve everything that you want try this out and see if it improves or you know helps you to get out of that confusion and helps you to get your target score thank you